Hi, welcome to AFTV. I've got Nick Francis with me. We've just beaten Man City 1-0 at the Emirates Stadium. Nick, match today two is going to be very interesting. I'm going to very much enjoy it tonight. What a win from Arsenal today. I predicted 3-1, bro. I'm not going to lie. I was so, wait, wait, to... To us. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, I, predict some people would, would, I predicted 3-1 to us. I, I, I felt like... We just had, we've shown an ability to grind out results. Um, the only thing I was concerned about is seeing Jorginho in the starting lineup. Mm -hmm. um, and Ketty up, up top, I wasn't super happy with, but I, I, was, I was confident going into the game. Even um, at home, like, at home at, as well? Especially at home. Wow. If, we're, if we're not confident, with, I'm definitely not confident against them at the Etihad. Yeah, fair. So, yeah, and, and the way the game went, it was quite flat from both teams. And mm -hmm. I thought, okay... It's, it's down to an explosive moment from, yeah. from somebody. The later on it went, I thought, we, we rode the storm a little bit. First five minutes, would you say? Yeah, first five, they, first they five, ten minutes. Chance, yeah. First five, ten minutes. And David Ray, I have to say, it was a clean sheet, but he was flapping at things quite a lot. It was very kind of Ramsdale-esque, if you know what I mean, showing a lot of the same weaknesses as Aaron Ramsdale and there's question marks about how much of an upgrade that is. 100%. But, um, and I think we could have counted a little bit quicker. I think because we had Enketia, Jesus and Trossard, we didn't have that pace. Mm. You know, when they did throw bodies forward. We weren't able, you know, we, we stopped the game and reset and went yeah. all the way up. But, um, but as the game went on, I was, I was actually calling for Havertz. You know, you can see on the stream, so you know I'm not capping because I was on the DR Sports stream. I was saying, you know, Havertz up top. This game is crying out for Havertz up top. We played them, played Havertz up top in the Community Shield yeah. and we got a draw in 90 minutes against them, 1-1. One, one, and I thought, that's exactly what it's crying out for. That's what we got. And then that's, that's how we got the goal. But the substitutions were... Really, really important. Mm. Um, I was screaming for Reese Nelson as well, more than um, more than anybody else. I thought it was a real game yeah. where Reese Nelson once again could come on and make that change. And disappointing to see uh, big games going and Nelson not getting on the pitch. But yeah, we, we got the result. We had to get out of there of a scrappy one nil, and, and that's what it is. What are you putting credit? What are you putting, giving credit to, say? Because I know you spoke about that. Um, you know, Havertz scream for Havertz, come on, but. When we saw uh, Tommy Asu come on, you saw him playing high up the pitch. You saw him do that run, that kind of that, well, that from Partey, that ball from Partey. By the way, all the substitutions contribute to that goal. Like, were you proud of, you know, Arteta having a kind of a plan B option? Because you're right, they, we weren't countering quick enough. City were getting back into shape and we couldn't break them down. But the long, the long ball and throwing Tommy Asu forward end, ended up unlocking City. Yeah, I mean, Tommy Asu is unbelievable. He's, he's such a good player. He can play anywhere across the back four and he can do a, just an out-and-out -out fullback job or he can go and invert mm. and do it. He's not got the passing range that Zinchenko has, but he can do an inverted fullback. Were you surprised job. to see that or did you know he could do that? I, I was surprised to see it yeah, um, because was... it was coming towards the end of the game and we. it's about the mentality of the team and the mentality of Arteta. Mm. And we were coming to a point where as Arsenal fans, we've lost three, four, five nil against this team. We'll take a point, 86 minutes, 85 yeah. minutes, 80 minutes, whatever. We'll take a point, Arteta won't. And it's the it's the same like the that. things that are great about him are the same things that are bad about him because we could lose that game. But he will always gamble a loss yeah. to go for a win. win he yeah. will always always believe that his team can win the game. I like that. And um, I know we made one substitution before they bought. Did we make one substitution before they did Doku and those guys? Yeah. I but I, one, I said yeah. let's wait for them to let's wait for them to make their subs and then let's react. I said Arteta is going to wait for them to make their substitutions and then he's going to be reactive. Once they played their hand and showed what they did and, you know, we, we dealt with Doku, I thought, quite well. Yeah. He's very, very good, very tricky. Very good. Zinchenko isn't the best defender one-on-one, -on -one, but he held, handled him really well. Ben White handled him really well when he actually, he actually Doku went and actually switched sides mm. um, and played against Ben White. So I think it was great. I think it was a really, really good tactical masterclass. And Arteta, like I said, he, he can lose some of these games. The, the, tactic, the tactics that he's playing are very, very risky. Mm. You know, and he was risking losing all three points in order to, or losing a point to gain all three points. But that's the kind of manager he is. And when people are screaming for, you know, change at the club, this is the kind of manager that we wanted and this is what we've got. And he's, 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 he's done it superbly well. You're right, it was Martinelli that was the earliest sub before yeah. they made the three changes after seeing Pep's hand, which is another great point in there. Do you want to just, just talk on the refereeing decision on Kovacic just quickly? I don't, I don't yeah. know if you have any thoughts on that. Yeah, the same thoughts as everybody else. It's, it should have been off. Um, the two challenges for me are identical if yeah. one's a yellow card they're both yellow cards or the referee says neither one of them's a yellow card and it's a firm challenge and then we can debate that but if one's a yellow they're both yellows and he, he's, he's got to be off and like somebody made the point before it's going to go under the rug it's going to go under the carpet Absolutely. because because Arsenal went on to yeah. win the game um, but it was really really poor and for me man the match you know I think William Saliba was oh, insane sublime. absolutely insane but Gabby Jesus looked up for it as well a lot you know he, he leads by example on the pitch yeah. and Gabriel Martinelli looked like he missed playing football, you know, <laughs> straight away. As soon as he came on electric, that's what we expect from him. That's why we consider him a top player. But I think William Saliba deserves a lot of credit for going up against Haaland and doing the job that he did today.